What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another amazing episode of the Boss Up Podcast. Today, we're going to be chatting about how to ensure a successful day. I have three strategies that you can use to really ensure you're set up for success and to optimize your productivity. So let's get into it. So the first strategy is you really need to set up the night before. Now, I know we have chatted about this in regards to planning your schedule for the deliverables, but I'm talking about planning the basic everyday necessities as well for the next day. And what I mean by that is you plan your meals, you plan your lunch, your breakfast, your coffee, your tea, and you plan your clothing. And the reason I think this really helps set the foundation is because when you wake up in the morning, you're not struggling with your outfit for the day. You're not struggling with what am I feeding the kids for the day, myself for the day, what am I going to do for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner? You have it already set and ready to go. Now, if you start that momentum the night before, when you wake up in the morning, your plan is already set. You are on this propelling momentum that is going to allow you to feel like you're in control of your day rather than the day controlling you. So my suggestion, my first strategy, not just for entrepreneurs, but for everyone, for students, for moms, for dads, for everyone, you should plan everything the night before. Some people do their meal prep planning for the week. You can review it the night before. Your clothes for the week, review it the night before. Your coffee, tea, whatever it is that you need to have first thing in the morning, make sure it's ready to go and you're not opening your fridge up and there's no cream or milk for the next morning. Prep everything the night before. And you would think this takes a long time, but not really. Once you get into the momentum of of things, you're going to naturally go upstairs and as you're closing out your day, as you're going to your bedroom, I said upstairs, not everyone has an upstairs, As you're going to your place of rest, you're going to realize that you're naturally going to want to plan for the next day. So once you get into the rhythm of it, it's not that difficult to implement. And I do suggest doing this every day, even on the weekends, because you'd be surprised that you can do a lot in the morning on a Saturday or Sunday if you have those days off because you're planned for the next day. With that said, you're also going to plan your deliverables. So we'll get into that next. The next strategy is to review your priority to do items or deliverables. And then once you have shortlisted what those priorities are, is make sure they're scheduled to be completed for the next day. Or if you have them already scheduled, ensure that they have enough time to be completed. So really doing a deep dive on your to-do list, on your deliverables, and ensure that they have a time secured in your calendar for the next day, or make sure they're scheduled for the upcoming days that week or in weeks to come. The point is you need to make sure that you are checking and rechecking and assessing that to-do list, that deliverables, because in the end, you may have a to-do list that's very lengthy, but unless you take those items and schedule them into your calendar and ensure you have a blocked off time dedicated to complete it, it will not get done. I'll say that again, make sure that the priority to do items or deliverables have a scheduled block of time in your calendar. This is the only way I get things done because I had so many things that were a priority. So I had to ensure they had a safe space in my calendar so I can get it done. A great example is this video needed a secure place in my calendar to be recorded. So again, That is your second strategy. You need to make sure you are doing this or it's gonna be very hard to get anything done with a peace of mind. Okay, let's go on to the last strategy. And my third and final tip for you is you need to assess the day you just had. And what I mean by that is, did your day line up the way that you had expected it to line up? Did you complete all the deliverables the way you wanted to complete them? Did you finish all your to-do items at the time that you had scheduled for them? Did you have interruptions throughout your day that may have hindered the completion of these project items or your to-do list? And if so, you need to take the items that were not completed and schedule them later in the week. And that's really it. Besides one additional point is if you've had interruptions or you have had incomplete items that you thought you were gonna complete today, Do a little self-reflection and ask yourself, is it because you have underestimated the amount of time it takes to finish something? Or is it that there is a variable in your life, say you are a new mom or dad, and you're managing young children at home, 
and you have not accounted for a baby perhaps not napping when they were supposed to. That is a real life situation which we need to be cognizant of, conscious of, and not pretend it does not exist. And not cause any stressful events from happening. Meaning, you need to understand that this is a fact of life. The baby will not always sleep when they're supposed to. And I'm talking from real life experience. I was a new mom a number of years ago, but it can happen in other events as well. If you're working your own business or you're working with a group of team members, they may have unexpected situations that occur. And so you have to ask yourself, how did you manage that? And what can you learn from it? Okay, guys, those are the three tips. So that's it. It's not as complicated as some of us may have thought. It's really taking stock of your day. That was number three, making sure that you've learned from what has happened in the day before and what has happened that particular day. And of course, rescheduling items that did not happen. Number two was make sure that you are taking your to-do list or your priority list and scheduling a secure time in your calendar to complete that item. And of course, number one was plan your day, not just your to-dos and deliverables, but everything else to do with regular life like your food, like your clothing, and even your coffee or your tea. So that way you start your day off on the best momentum possible and you make the most of that particular day. Okay, guys, as always, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe. And if you are new to us, you can always follow us on Boss It Club on Instagram and we release a new episode every week. So we'll see you again next week. And remember, make a plan and take action. And yes, you can have it all. Take care. Bye.